Hey guys, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful vegan Cajun seafood pineapple boats. And these are the ingredients you're going to need right here. You're going to need some king oyster mushroom, some parsley, dill, some other seasonings, some artichoke heart, pineapples of course, and veggies of your choice. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so here I'm just slicing up my pineapple. This makes it a little bit easier to gut out the middle. You just wanna spoon it out with a spoon and you can save the filling for snacking or throw it in your smoothie. All right guys, so after you cut your pineapple, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our fried rice. I'm using grapeseed oil and I'm going to use about two to three tablespoons of oil. Once we add our oil, we're going to go ahead and add our onions. We're going to go ahead and add our onions and our garlic. We're going to go ahead and cook this until our onions get nice and translucent for about three minutes or so. Okay, so now that our onions have cooked down, they're nice and translucent, we're gonna go ahead and season it up a bit. So today we're actually using something special. We're gonna add a little sunshine to our dish. And if you guys are familiar with Tabitha Brown, she came out with a new seasoning and we're definitely gonna give it a try. It is by McCormick and it is her sunshine all-purpose seasoning. So I thought it would be perfect for this pineapple bowl. Oh, and also to note that this is salt free, so you can add as much as you like. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle this in there. Make sure we put enough so we can get all the flavor. You guys, it already smells super good. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and I'm gonna be easy on the salt and the seasonings because we're gonna be adding soy sauce and other things with sodium. So just salt to taste. Go ahead and mix this in. You guys, the seasonings already smell amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our vegan egg. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in. We're just gonna cook this until it cooks up. All right guys, so the eggs are pretty much cooked up and this is how it's looking. You guys always ask me, do I use black salt to give it that eggy flavor? Um, I usually don't, I don't use black salt at all because I'm not really looking for the egg flavor. I'm looking for like the texture more so. And especially in this dish, I kind of want just the texture. But if you guys are looking for a more egg-like uh, flavor, black salt is definitely the way to go. So now we're going to go ahead and add our veggies. And these are the veggies that I'm using. You can use whatever uh, mix you like. It just has carrots, green beans, peas, and uh, corn. So you can add as much as you like. I'd say I added about a cup or so. And go ahead and mix that all in. All right guys, so we want some flavor all through. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the sunshine seasoning. Some garlic powder. And a tad bit more salt. And just for a little bit of Cajun seasoning, we're gonna add some Tony's uh, Creole seasoning. I'm gonna mix that all together. All right guys, so now that everything's mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add our rice. And this is pre-cooked rice. I already cooked it and let it chill in the fridge for about a day. Um, you wanna use cold chilled rice because you don't want your uh, fried rice to be mushy. So go ahead and add this in. So now we're going to go ahead and season our rice and give it that beautiful brown color that fried rice normally has. We're going to add a little bit of brown sugar. You can use whatever sugar you have. 
I'm using about a tablespoon of sugar. Next, we're gonna be using some light soy sauce. And I would say start off with about three tablespoons and add on. So I would say, depending on how much rice you're making, start off with a little and then add more. Like I said, you don't want your dish to be too salty. Next, we're gonna add some sesame oil. And then finally, to give it that beautiful brown color, we're gonna add some mushroom flavored dark soy sauce. And you don't need too much of this. So now we're gonna just mix everything together. Okay, so now that you have everything added, you just wanna make sure everything's well combined. As you can see, it has that beautiful color already. Looks super good. We're gonna go ahead and just let everything heat through and I'll show you guys the final product. So next we're gonna move on to our vegan scallops and you're gonna need a king oyster mushroom. We're gonna go ahead and cut these to about an inch to an inch, inch and a half thick. The thicker, the better. All right guys, so you want them about this thick. All right guys, so once you have them cut to your desired uh, size, you're gonna go ahead and score them into like a crisscross pattern, just like this. But just make sure you don't go too deep. All right guys, so just like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and cook our vegan scallops and we're gonna make a little butter sauce uh, to cook them in. So I'm gonna start off with adding about one and a half to two tablespoons of butter. Vegan butter, that is. And we're also gonna add some garlic. Okay, so now that all the butter is melted, we're gonna go ahead and add some lemon juice to the pan. We're just gonna season the butter a little bit. I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some Tony seasoning just for the sodium. To this occasion, this. What are you talking about, bro? And we're just gonna go ahead and mix that all in. These honestly don't need that much seasoning. They have great flavor on their own with the butter and garlic. So now we're gonna go ahead and throw our mushrooms in. So we're gonna go ahead and put the scored side down first. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for a little bit and let it get nice and brown. So I'll show you guys once it's done. All right guys, so now they should be done on the other side. We're gonna go ahead and turn them. And as you can see, they have this beautiful brown color. And this is exactly what you're looking for. So you're gonna go ahead and cook each side for about two to three minutes or until it's golden brown. All right guys, so excuse my pot, but these are all done. They smell amazing. Now HD is gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make these vegan. Uh, they remind me of like catfish nuggets, so we're gonna show you how to make these vegan fish nuggets. All right fam, so I'm gonna show you guys how to whip up this vegan seafood nuggets. They kind of remind us like um, catfish nuggets or something like that, but you're gonna need some artichoke hearts. You dig what I'm saying? We got these one from Whole Foods. This is how they look. That's how I did get the longer ones, but these ones are a little short, but we're gonna work with these, make it happen. And right here is the mixture. The mixture consists of yellow cornmeal, flour, salt, garlic, powder, paprika, Old Bay, Creole season, you know, all that good old stuff. All right, fam, so it should look like this once you take it out the jar. But anyway, let's get straight to the coat and then we're gonna fry them up. This should get the job done. You ain't gotta have all that extra double coating like that. This should work. All right, so we got all these things coated up. So let's head to the stove so we can fry these things up one thing. All right, fam, once that grease is hot enough to start frying, go ahead and throw your fishless bites or whatever you wanna call these things up in the... Oh yeah. 
my word. All right, fam, these things cook pretty fast, so make sure you keep an eye on them. You just want them like a golden brown, and that's about it. And then, basically, they threw. All right, fam, so they all done. Look at these beautiful things right here. Oh, wait, it's time to stir these things up. All right, guys, so once everything is done, you're just gonna go ahead and fill everything up in your pineapples. Uh, this is great for parties, great for birthdays, whatever you want the occasion is. This is just how to make it a little bit more fancy. So we're going to go ahead and throw our rice in. And then we're going to take our vegan seafood and just throw it on top. And it doesn't really matter how you put it. Vegan scallops. Put it however you like. Now we're gonna add our vegan catfish balls or catfish nuggets, whatever you wanna call it, y'all. Just throw that on top. Now I'm gonna add a sauce on, on top, but let me just go ahead and just do the other bowl as well. All right, guys, so this is how it looks. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit more of the sunshine seasoning from Tabitha, just to give it that extra flavor. Remember, it's salt free, so you can put as much as you want. And then we're gonna go ahead and drizzle it with um, teriyaki sauce or whatever you like. And if you guys are anything like us and like a little bit of heat, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some sriracha just for a just for an extra kick. Mmm, that looks bomb. All right guys, and there you have it, our beautiful vegan seafood boats. You guys, if you try this recipe out, please go ahead and tag us on Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this recipe. Also subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your post notification bells. That way you know whenever we're posting a new video. And let us know what recipe you wanna see from us next. All right guys, love you. Talk to you later, bye.